everybody, Terry Dayton, and I'm at the Antique Radio Club of Illinois' annual event, Radio Fest 2019, in Addison, Chicago, which is actually Illinois. Still, I'm in Chicago with Marsha. We got the hat, we got the toothpick, did the auction last night, and now we're gonna go check out the swap meet. Let's go. All right, so the uh, funny thing is, is we live on Swift Road in Battle Creek, right? So we checked the map, the old Google Map Quest deal, and uh, make sure I don't get hit by this truck. Anyway, this event is also on Swift Road <laughs> here in Addison, huh? So what's the chances of that? All right, over here is the swap meet. Medina. We're heading that way. Lots of stuff set up. We'll go in here and take a guided tour. It looks like if you go over here, this guy's gonna get a car wash. Anyway, we can go over here, Marsha, and get cleaned up. You didn't have to get a shower. Could have done it right there. Why didn't you tell me? I know, Why didn't I know. You tell me? Look at the time we could have saved. Darn. I know. All right, let's go. All right, so we'll do our typical approach. We'll just zigzag through it. Okay. okay. We're here kind of early. It's right at, uh, I don't know, about quarter after seven. Check out the goodies. So I always like to do a uh, initial walkthrough. And then Marsha will open up her purse and give me money so I can buy stuff. I ain't got it. Oh, okay. What do we got? Microphoniums. Yeah, it is cool. It's uh, Belmont. Belmont. Yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to see a lot of cool license plates, right? Look at there. Radio 4, right? Okay. Like I say, it's still kind of early. I'm sure more stuff will open up as the day goes by. Okay, so Marsha spotted something that we're going to throw in the back of the car. Look at this stuff. Look at that I right know. There. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, see, Andrew should have came because that would have been super cool in his new house. Let me go right up on it here. I'm sure the guy won't mind. So it is a radio, Marsh. You know if you need help with anything here. Yeah. Very cool. Killer cabinet. It is, man. It's gorgeous. It's early too. There's a battery compartment. There's a place for your uh, driver in the up, up above. Okay. And then that drawer opens up and you can just put huh? front-facing chassis oh yeah it's Man. probably 20s yeah this it's... goes up to the horn there's a built-in like horn for that oh, is, it, so... is it in there still no oh I mean the horn is oh, yeah the okay. horn but no driver or nothing okay so, so this you... is just a cabinet it's a cabinet anything? that a furnished company made to house like for luxury luxury if you bought your radio and you said well, I want to, you know, I want to put it in a luxury piece of furniture. That's what this was made for. That oh, okay. is absolutely beautiful. Battery compartment here. Wow. Sp specifically for radio. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's wild. These used to be like seven hundred fifty dollars. I mean, if you just even put a common radio in there, they'd yeah. just go through the roof. But uh, today's people are so short on space. A lot of people don't want to take yeah. the space, so our price is really cheap to. It is. Is there a speaker up here? There's a there's a horn. Yeah, it's a horn a speaker. Horn. Yeah. If you look here, so you would you put your radio driver here, you know whatever's oh. going to amplify, mm -hmm. and then there's an actual acoustic horn. Wow, yeah. that's that's just really walnut. Cool. It's all walnut. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. This is all inlaid burl. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Got another cool table here, man. Yeah, this is specifically for radio as well. There's a battery compartment in the back. Hmm. The makers on the underside, it's a Iowa. It's almost like a desk. No, it's I mean. like a desk, made to look like a desk, but it's to put your radio on. You'd put huh. your, you'd put your, uh, you know, your receiver here, and then yeah. your, your uh, speaker there, and your batteries. There's a door in the back for your batteries. Huh. Jeez. Excellent, man. You got some cool stuff. Thank you. That almost looks like it's for albums, where you stand up albums or something? I'm not sure. It's just a table, it says. Yeah, it's just a table, yeah. but wow. We got this grandfather clock radio, I think. These, or this is a Crosley. I've seen Philco's like this. All right, let's... Yeah, the knobs are missing. Yeah, you can get those. Yeah. All right, let's see what else he has. Yeah, and there's more in this box. Okay. 
Yeah. We've got something over here. Look, he's got the RCA puppies. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out. So I was just getting this Philco. These jobbers. Oh yeah, he does. Alright, take a look. What is Jasper's first name? Oh, hey, Mercer, here's Alan. one of those uh, finger Alan. removers we used to make these a long time ago. So these guillotines go around and you put your finger in there. Okay. How special. I know. You get to chop your carrots. Chop your nails. Yeah, carrots. Yep, yeah, that's, carrots? I didn't think of that. Yeah, this guy's good. What a great idea. Cucumbers. <clears throat> I need him on more of my videos. Here's some more stuff down here, some albums. Here's those uh, frisbees we used to throw when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. yeah. They fly really well. <laughs> Yep. And then we got the Garcia puppies. Alright, got some cannabis. Remember that radio over there you said was missing the knobs? Well, just getting there and find one. Yeah. Tubes. Look at there. Here's your RCA puppy salt shakers. Maybe you can buy those for the ones that I lost in your kitchen while you were gone. Maybe. Marsha and her salt shakers. All right, what we got here? Beautiful Crosley, Marsha. How are you doing? I'm fine. Just checking out your goodies. Knobs. And these are all wood knobs. That one. There's some uh, Duquesne. I think those are. I guess they're amplifiers. Maybe they're mixers. Not sure. I'm sure somebody will correct me. Hey, this guy bought one of those finger guillotines. All right. Lots of stuff. Marsha's looking for something for me, aren't you, sweetie? About that scope. Look at that scope. It's well ventilated. You don't have to worry about it overheating. Oh, sure, you can add that to the other five scopes you have, right? Well, yeah, you can never have too many scopes, Marsha. Uh, right. Yeah. How you doing? We got the best deal. Everything is at ground level. That price can't get any lower than that. Right? Well, I can pay somebody to take it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, you know, it saves on setting up tables, right? Still gets the job done. The trouble is when you haul the tables, you eat up enough room to put four of these boxes in. That's right. That's right. But I don't, I prefer it to be on tables because then people don't want to bend over. Yeah. All getting over. Yep, I got you, man. So what do you do? Yep. <laughs> wow. Look at there. Cold light. That's cool. That is very cool. <laughs> Marsh, these are Morse code lights. Like you use in the Navy, you know, with the oh, shutters. Oh, cool. Yeah, super cool. You know that's old. I like that. Should get that mean Emmy could play. Here's the, these are actually. Those look familiar. Yeah, they're actually intercoms, and I've built amps out of those. And you have probably half a dozen more. I know, I need some more of them. Oh, yeah. They're small. You really need a lot more. They're small, they'll go right in the car. Come on. Huh? What are you talking about? You get the Zenith? Poor dial we got a little hacked on it. Sun or whatever. Wow. Probably distorted it. Yeah. Alright. Got some more ground level stuff here, but nice equipment. I think that may be a tube checker. And I got to show. Look at this driver. Thompson radio. Crystal type I'm assuming, like a regenerative type radio. I appreciate you bring what you brought, huh? Could be 
Yeah. 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 At first, Marcia, I thought this was a roll of toilet paper, so that would probably be kind of hard to use. This is a radio. A radio lamp. Huh. There's the dial right there. So maybe that's called a ramp. <laughs> okay. That's what I get, people. It's a really cool transistor. Look at this jabber. Right in the radio, or in the package still. That's cool. Very cool. What do we got over here? <clears throat> Some little tube amps here. Fisher. Logan. Scott. Wow, it's got a Bernier tuner. <clears throat> These appear, that one appears to be homebrew. That one's pulled out of something. Lots of tube amps. 150, 175 bucks. Heath kit. It's probably the coolest one there, I think. What's that, a Dynaco or? It's a Knight. It's a Knight. Cool. It must be like a PA amp, I'm guessing. With a set of Dynacos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so Marsha keeps spotting this radio. I don't know really how you could overlook it. I mean, it's humongous, right? But look at this jobber. This is, uh, I guess this is the robot dial. Maybe it has the automatic tuning. Magic eye. I was telling some guys at work about this. So when you select the bands, I think like shutters go in with the different bands. Very cool. I would love to have that, sweetie pie. <laughs> Where would we put it, dear? The bedroom. We don't have any room in the bedroom. So get rid of a dresser and put the radio in there. <laughs> I could say something, I but bet I'm not you would. going to. <laughs> Look at that jobber. That is, it's, it's custom built. It should say custom built like an army tank. Because, oh my God, look at that thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is some good stuff here. You know, and one thing that you pointed out, Marsha, I think that's important for people to know is this is not a junk fest, okay? This is some, you know, very restorable or restored radios. You know, people have taken the time to bring quality equipment here. So you're not gonna bring home something full of mice. Right. Right, yeah. I've had that happen. I think that's an upside down. A lot of Bakelite radios. I assume this poor thing had been repainted at one time. I used to have a fan like that when I was growing up. I remember those things. Probably still works. A little bit safer yeah. than the carrot slicer. Yeah, you could still get your finger in there though if you tried. Right? Zenith? Oh, okay. Why don't you find something here? Wanted tubes. Is that you or somebody else that wants tubes? This guy? Okay. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> so Marsha has found a tie. It's too bad you don't wear ties. Well, you know, yeah. You I know. think you'd look pretty classy in a tie. And a t-shirt. Tie and a t-shirt. Tie my, and a t-shirt. Yeah. Perfect. Straw hat and a toothpick. All right, what do we got? One of those Zenith Transoceanics right there. A couple more. Now, these are called the Long Distant Radio, I think. They weren't actually called the... Transoceanics, but they have the same style. This guy's got a lot of them. Now 
this is cool. Look at that. All metal. I love that. The room radio. <laughs> hey, it's got a quarter slot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty wild. All right, what else we got? Lots of tubes. Oh, I walked right by this console, Mark. And then we got, uh, is this a little tape player? Yeah. Lots of good stuff. Some little toys here. I love toys. Oh, one of these old remote controls. Let's see if we can hear it. No. So there's little tuned like bars in there. Okay, so it puts out these, I guess, ultrasonic frequencies for the old style TV remote control. And then I believe the TV actually had a motorized apparatus on the tuner that would switch the channels. So we're still early in the game. Well, the tube guy down there, he didn't but, uh, have stuff out, but we'll go back. We'll this stuff. Okay, there he is. This guy's here to give me trouble already this morning. How's it going? Uh oh. Ooh, they, they knew I was here. Run! <laughs> wow. The whirly sound of that. That was neat. Whirly bird. Well, that's what they're called. I know. This is typical. <laughs> this is over here. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Chassis down there. Beautiful Firestone. Zenith. Don't pick it up by the top, because the top will probably come off. Look at that jobber. That is humongous. So, you know, I told you my buddy Enright is looking for a radio. So something like that would be very cool. It has a style, but it wouldn't be as expensive as like a Zenith, right? All right. This thing over here. Look at there. Speaker cones, Marsh. Just the paper replacement cone for speakers. It's pretty cool. Hey, I think there's a fungus among us. Yeah. You wouldn't want to put that on a Ritz cracker. So this is obviously an auction house here. Right? I don't know if they're actually selling or just advertising. Pretty cool. A lot of microphones. Yeah, this must be part of the auction because it just has auction tags on them, not prices. Okay, this away. I would imagine. How's it going? Okay. You sleep well? No. No? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. Did I'm you sorry? buy anything? Huh? Did you buy anything at the auction? No. No? No, well, maybe oh. that's why I didn't sleep well. Yeah, exactly. You don't you know, feel just, good. I was depressed. Yeah, exactly, man. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, doing? you look very colorful today. Well, I'm wearing the same outfit from yesterday. <laughs> oh, I don't tell anybody. <laughs> I, you know what? Everybody, over. everybody it's knows. Over. Everybody knows. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. The secret's out. Yeah. Here's the goodies. Yeah, now this was in the auction last night and it didn't sell. So if he puts a price on it, Marsh, it could be yours. Yeah. This was at the Kalamazoo meet. I remember that. And this was too. Hey, Bob. What's going on, man? Getting her unloaded? You betcha. All right. The pretty rare receiver there. Like I see those very often. All right, so Harry's got a little surprise for me. What do you got, a dog in there that's going to attack me? Come on out. Marsha, you got to leave now. <laughs> Not cool. Did you hear that, Marsha? I did. That guy's giving you a bad time. That's what's expected. It's good old Harry. Hey, it's time for you to get up and leave now. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear there was some guy? Not chap. 
Serial City. He's out here filming. You've really? got to be kidding. Oh, yeah, really. And, uh, I think his call is uh, he doesn't Six even. Terry Loves uh, YouTube. I think that's yeah. <laughs> oh, That's good. That was a good one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Except I'll change it to a Y if he uses it. Is this your stuff, man? Yeah. Yeah? Why don't you have any prices on it? There are. Are there? Yeah. Where? I don't I see no don't, price. I don't put them on front. It's got a hidden <clears> there. <throat> oh, two dollars and twenty-five cents. Yeah, yeah that's not bad. Yeah. There's a price yeah. in here. What's yeah. this one like? Five bucks. It's pretty. It starts. Oh, it starts with a three. $3. Oh, you know, v, you know Tommy Turner, VBL. This is one of his manuals. Yeah. The gravy. And in fact, yeah. hand-drawn. Uh, Hand-drawn schematic. He's in the. He's, he really knows Greebies. <clears throat> I like this. Is that just a speaker? Uh, this is a. Oh, this is a Magnavox. Which, if it had the original speaker in here, would be su super rare and super good. Yeah. Except that. Uh, oh, rat shacker. Yeah. Yeah. So it's reasonably priced. Yeah. Could be even cheaper for me, couldn't it? Because you love me. Oh hell! It's a giveaway. <laughs> to my. My buddy with the camera. Oh, so you give it to me? He films, he films people that are doing auctions, but he films them selling dollar, <laughs> struggling through dollar <laughs> items that have to be passed. Hey, I'm just trying to share what happens, you know? <laughs> You're all right, buddy. All right, man. We'll keep moving. I'll come back and invade you. See you later, Marsha. <laughs> Bye, Harry. It's got full sunshine beaming at us. I decided I may as well stay with it. And a couple of years ago, I got a little bit interested because I was chasing down a, a call sign for our for my other club. And uh, I found out, gee, the old uh, Morton West Radio Club's call sign is languishing. I said, that wouldn't be a bad one to have. Should I trade that in? And then my wife said, you mean after all these years you're going to kill WA9 GQK? And I felt bad. I said, yep. I can't, can't do it. Do it. Yep. No. Uh, but cool. I think I they just bridged the side. Right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, no problem. Yeah. I would have seen it easy enough, too. Yeah. Instead of a bottom on it. I see a Dynaco. How you doing, man? Yep, very good. All right, I'll be back after I okay. get that sense. For sure. Yeah. Dynaco ST70, Marsh. All that's, redone. Yeah, that's what I need to get for Andrew. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. I know. I know. But I keep saying all this on the video, and then he's going to expect it. Where's my Dynaco, Dad? <laughs> well, then you better <laughs> stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little jobber here. This is one of those uh, mini. Yeah, that's one of those mini consoles. I think they actually bought it. Please do, yeah. Yes. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is very cool. You did sell it? Yeah. You did. He sold it. He did. Bummer. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's it. good, but yeah, yeah it's no. very beautiful. Yeah. It's really a nice set. Uh, I've never seen one like it, never before. So, yeah. where did you find it? I got it here about 15 years ago. Really? I just haven't had time to, to restore it. It works, but it needs capacitors and that, that sort of thing. Yeah. So. Okay. Hey, we got to feature something real quick. Take this, frame us up. So I see the Air Force thing. I was Air Force 12 years. Was oh, that right? Okay. Yep. Missile systems. Okay. Miniman peacekeepers yeah, out yeah, in very Cheyenne, good. Wyoming. So, okay. Well, yeah. very good for you. I yeah. I spent uh, 26 uh, as a logistician, supply chain and aircraft maintenance. So cool. it was a great great career. Yep. I was, was uh, stationed all the way from Baudette, Minnesota, up on the Canadian border, down to Panama City, and then Virginia and California and Taiwan and the Azores Islands and. Uh, Yep. I guess that's about it, Germany. Yep. So, <laughs> Best days of my life. Oh, I'll tell you what, a, a, a great career, yep. and uh, I think we were lucky to have been in the, in the military and in yep. the Air Force. So yep. sure really, enough. really a good deal for everybody. Cool. So, I appreciate yeah. it, sir. Oh, yeah, no, no, thank you for your service. Appreciate that. Okay. Yep. All right, so we'll check out the rest of this guy's goodies. For the Air Force member, love it. National 60. It's beauty. Bless you. 
Blue jukebox merch. See somebody is moving to University of Cincinnati from Northwestern, but they said, okay, they'll just look I mean, there you go through boxes and you find that certain item. One person's junk is another person's treasure. That's right. That's right. Good stuff. Speaker cloth. It's hard, it's hard to find good speaker cloth anymore, Marsh. We got a couple down here in boxes. It looks like Scott's, maybe. Yeah, got those big bean cans. <clears throat> they chrome plated everything. That had to have been extremely expensive. Look at this thing, Marsh. What the heck is it? Oh, jeez. Looks like it's off an alien spaceship. I think it might be a street light. I can't tell. It's got a handle on it. I don't know. I thought maybe it'd be something like a still. <clears throat> a still. Parts for a still. Yeah, yeah. There you go. This is from the whiskey guys up in the mountains there. Yeah. Look at here, Marsh. You might be right, that may be a still because we got a little barrel of uh, what brandy, right, that the dog used to carry, right? I don't know. Yeah, first aid medicine. Yeah, yeah. I do like sending medicine to people. Ah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like in gold boxes. <laughs> okay. Look at that neat dime. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I like how the sun is illuminating it. Yeah. Very nice. Look at that photo. I, I don't know what that is. This they looks put like marbles in a bubble gum. I think that's a TV. It's got a channel selector. I think that's a, Neat. a portable television. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, look at there. It'd be kind of hard to pass those marbles, though, wouldn't it? I was thinking it would be hard to chew them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully you just didn't follow through with it. You know what I mean? No, okay. What we got down here? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. You know, Marsh, when I see all this stuff, I just want to, I want to take it all, I know it. every bit of it. I know. I know, can we? No. no. You can. I know. It'd be great, man. It hey, would be. Uh-oh. <laughs> did, you see, did you see me on a milk carton? Yeah, I did. Yeah. G-Lab. Yeah, man. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How's sales? Sorry, I'm in your way. Terrible. Right? I'm one in terrible. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm focused on it. I'm terrible oh, about that. Make a special <clears throat> deal on that. Yeah, now that I got you on camera, you actually have to buy it. That's part <laughs> well, of the rule. Stay there. Stay now, there. I will. I be on your YouTube but he has channel. to give a you good will. deal. Awesome. You will. Identify yourself if you want, man. Well, I, I'm just I'm just a radio guy. Okay. But, we'll call you Mr. Radio Guy. Call me Mr. Radio Guy, but right. we'll watch D Lab on YouTube. <laughs> Hey, I drove four hours through that Chicago craziness to I, come and feature this my, for you guys. My heart is with you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I saw this. Wasn't this on Wizard of Oz? Yes, it was. It was, <laughs> man. You had to help yeah, that guy with his hinges. With uh, was one of going. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> she wants it. Hold on. I don't want to blow oh, the sale. I'm asking forty for it. But you know. You have an honest face, so I'll, I'll give you fifty. Yeah. <laughs> go away. <laughs> oh, by the way, it, it's been restored and it works. I always take. Not that I'm calling you. I always take that with a grain of salt. So I don't worry. Oh about no, no, that. please, yeah, yeah. please. I you know the, the color is right. It would really look good yeah. on your table. Well, you know, I like Arvin's. Good, good, I like Arvin's. excellent. Yeah. So thirty-five. Thirty-five. <clears throat> cool. That work for me. Wow. This guy is easy to deal with. Oh, I really am. I give you I'm 20, so 20 bucks for the NC 109. Well, no, that's. Uh, I thought you were easy. Well, I, I'm not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's easy, just not cheap. Yeah. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And the sale like is complete. That. Thank Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sales and consummated. I know, man. And it's and documented. Another day. Don't forget to smile your own camera. Yeah. There. And be careful because really everybody easy. in the world heard you tell her that works. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Uh, almost, I love that. No. That's good. Oh, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Needed to worry. It wouldn't be here if it did. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this another 109? That's no, 188. 
Marsh, I gotta have that 188 and 109. You know, yeah. We'll make you a special package, and we have a speaker that almost matches. Oh, well, almost we, got, we got to talk about this. I'm yeah. cutting, cutting this. It's got some Dynaco monoblocks here, Marsh. And a B and K 747 two checker. Yeah. Morning. Well, hey, how you doing, man? Morning. What's what's the story on those Dynacos, the monoblocks? Story? Yeah, it's a good they work. Story. They both work. Both Excellent. Yeah. Come in, sir. Cool. Sorry, I'm Electrically in the way. restore, all original, except for the tubes, the mm -hmm. Russian outfit. Yeah. yeah. Everything else transformed. Everything else is as as manufactured. B and K seven four seven. That's fantastic. It is. It's in some good shape. I think it's in better shape than yours. It is. Yeah. Maybe we should get a new one. Okay, how much? Great. How much is it? Two hundred. Yeah, that's a great deal. That's a good deal. Yeah. It's all steady. That's it. Yeah. What? How about the uh, mono blocks? Uh, those are five. For the pair? Yeah. That's a great deal. Yeah. That's like half of what I normally see them go for. The speaker terminals original on them. <clears throat> yep. Wow. It's cool. Why right, miss the badge? But... Yeah. Okay, we'll talk. I just okay, gotta finish okay. my tour. Yeah. Yeah. Got some tubes down here. Just doing watch it. This for Andrew, that would be a good birthday gift. Yeah. And then you pick up tube checker. Looks like some military oh. transceiver yeah. set, I'm guessing. They Don't never know. Had any. Everything is Another tube checker. You smell that nice vintage, musty smell. Isn't that great? I love it. I'm smelling gas. It's not gas, Marsha. No, I'm smelling it from someplace else. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. What else we got? Showers. Or showers. I don't know what it is. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> Battery. Actually, it looks new. Might be. This appears to be some type of uh, antenna system, directional. Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good. How's sales? Good. All right. Beautiful day. Yeah, the sun's in the right position, too. <laughs> it's good as long as I'm videoing that way, right? Love that that clock, Marsha. It's very cool. Oh, an NC 183D. It's totally, re, uh, uh, it totally went through it. It's still in totally factory line. Cool. Power transformer still alive in her. It works perfectly. Excellent. I'm on three for that, and this is on J-4 uh -huh. with all the filters, and it also has the mod. It has the power protector in it. Wow. I'll take six for that. Okay. I'll take a look inside of her. Yeah. That anodized aluminum, very cool. What did you find, Marsh? Nothing. Oh. Um, okay. Got some down here too. How much Michelin? Uh, he is a reproduction. And the real one's about Very twenty thousand dollars. Cool. Michelin available. man. Um, not available. I like to the camp. The reproduction man. ones uh, online. They're one hundred sixty, one hundred seventy dollars, and then there's shipping, which is about thirty-five dollars because it's. It's okay, really. Yeah. yeah. Is he like? Is that like cast? Uh, yeah, it's cast plastic or something? Yeah. It's iron. Holy crap! Yeah. That's cool, man. There's, there's a one of a kind item, people. Look at that. All right. Look at this, Marsh. See, this is what I want. I want one of these vertical hi fis Not this one, but I would like like a voice of music. I don't know who makes this. Oh, something Carlson. Never heard of it, but <clears throat> those are nice. Big old Grundig receiveroid. Got some more stuff. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm on it. Hold on. Power supply there. Hi Fidelity. Who makes that? Can you tell? Grundig. I don't know what it is. Somebody will tell us on YouTube when they see it. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> so this is the IM5280 series test equipment. When I was a kid, my dad bought me every one of those for Christmases. So I got to build that entire set. Don't you still have it? No. No. Well, some I of think that looks familiar. I, I, I have, I have the, the signature. Yeah. That's the only piece I have left. Oh. Yeah. Like a dumb dumb I sold it. it aren't, isn't that scope beautiful? I mean, I don't want to buy it. Okay. I get it. It's just a very nice looking scope. Can I buy it? I thought you said you didn't want to buy it. <laughs> Goofy? Is that a like a ham GPS system that you got there? He's not paying attention to me. You're not paying attention to me hey, at all. Hey, how you doing there, Terry? Good, Good man. What's going on? Just me in on the Midwest Classic Radio Network. Ah, okay. Yeah. Did you just buy that Sony? No, no, no I have. I uh, just brought it with me. Ah, I got you. No, the only thing I picked up today was a Zena Transoceanic 7000, one of the Taiwan. Oh yeah, brands. yeah. But it uh, works good. It's good. nice. So. Good, man. Yeah, it's good to see you here. you yeah. doing the dinner tonight? No. Oh. No, I'm heading okay. down to Piatone for the swap. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow, yeah. Man, it must be nice to be, like, free. Well, to be retired. <laughs> it's good okay, seeing you, man. Okay, Terry, good to see you. All right, you too. Hey, so, hey. I'm WB9LZA. Jim. Oh, okay. Hey, Jim, how you doing, man? How are you? Good to meet you. You too. Yeah. And I, I like your... Uh, your, your videos, especially on the Rangers on YouTube. So oh, yeah, thank yeah. you for putting those up. Sure enough, I, I've got um, and another one I'm doing right now, and I'm picking up two Rangers and two Valiants today. Okay. And we'll work on those two. Okay, I've got, uh, what was I going to say? And then I saw your video, you just shot one at Oak Creek, didn't you? Um, we're at um, the Kalamazoo Expo, and then I was down to Sturgis doing the uh, AM get together. The Sturgis one, right? Not yeah. Oak Creek. That's what I meant. Yeah. I saw that one, so yeah. that's yeah. good. Cool. Yeah, yeah I was going to go to that, but I couldn't make it. And uh, yeah. but anyway, cool. Well, it's good to meet you, sir. All right, you too. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right, over here. Got these transistor radios. I'm trying to show you guys, but everybody's moving in on me. So I'll cut and try it from another angle. Is your, your equipment? Yeah. Yeah? Are all these restored then? Yeah, or, they're all yeah. in working condition. There's a couple cool. here that still need some work. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, people like to buy working radios. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of these when I was a kid. Yeah. Man, they're beautiful. I'm going to be on YouTube. You are. Yeah. You yeah. are. So if you, do you have a website? Yeah. Well, tell people what it is, man. Maybe I can drum you up some business. JerrysRadios.com. Excellent. Okay. So I get 10% of all your sales. Yeah, I knew you got <laughs> I think it used to be five, didn't it? Uh, well, yeah. It's getting yeah. more expensive yeah. these days. Here. You know what I mean? Good morning, Paul. Hey, man. How are you, how you doing? I'll, I'll get out of your way. Oh, I'm just oh, going to well, scan this real quick. It's good to meet you. You too, bad. Nice meeting you. How you doing, man? Up, uh, wow. That's my son, Kevin. You have money? Hey, Kevin. Look at this little jobber. Paul Hi, Paul. Pleasure to meet you. Paul, you're Paul. Very you're cool. Is a historic Good to see people keeping the hobby alive. And now I'm retired. I bought four new tires for my truck. Hearing all these guys that are retired. <laughs> Just think if I was retired people, I could have so much fun. Maybe I should do a GoFundMe. Like, let's get D-Lab retired so he can just do this all the time. I would love that. You know, I recently heard that Don Wells, uh, Mary Ann, on Gilligan's Island, had some guy do a GoFundMe for her. Right, Marcia? I think it's a great story. So what I'm, what I'm telling everybody is they should do a GoFundMe so I can retire early and just do this. Well, that'd be great. Yeah. That's the reaction I normally get. How come you can't organize your stuff like that? Oh, did he get it done? Marcia, that was your job. Remember? Not anymore. Yeah, I see. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, Johnson Messenger 123. That's actually a CB. Isn't that cool? What? 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 Look at this. I did. You gonna make me look at it again? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Nice DX40. Transmitter. We so got the little back panel. Oh, gone. They usually are. D104. Nice Hammerland HQ110 receiver. 75 bucks. That's a deal. Well, okay. What do we got over here? Tuning capacitors. Sockets. You guys might say, well, you know, I'll just buy that stuff new. I got all this new stuff that works great. Well, it really doesn't. If you're going to build something quality, you want porcelain sockets, 
then you want the good old US made tuning caps. Okay? Alright. Lots of stuff. Goodie box. Now see see these little these little connectors here? This style is like what you'd see on the bottom of some of the old calibrators like Drake. Right there is the four pin one like Drake used. That's next to impossible to find those. So I'm always telling you, Marsha, there's what? always jewels in here. Jewels. This isn't junk. Jewels. You got it? Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Looks like a little homebrew transmitter. It's got a national knob on it. Back in the day, that's how everybody did it, Marsha. You didn't go buy their stuff and made it. Because it didn't exist. This watt meter looks like it's hurt, if you ask me. <laughs> it's not a watt meter, that's a what meter. What, what am I? What? I'm not a meter anymore. B and K. Yeah. A lot of scopes. I used to drool over these Hitachi scopes. Always wanted one. I bought the, the Watsu instead. Down at Rag Electronics in California. Remember that place? What a name. Rag Electronics. It's almost as bad as that grocery store that you go to. The other one with a bad name. She's looking at me like all bewildered. What grocery store do we go to where you can like get drinks and walk through the store and oh, shop? Oh, Yeah. Cool okay. store. Yes, it's a very neat store. But the name is just, it just throws me. It's probably the person's last name, so I wouldn't make fun of it. I'm not making fun, I'm just stating, jeez, jeez, everywhere I go. Scrutiny. What, what do you got to do? Oh, okay. So Marsh is taking off. So I got some freedom here to buy stuff because she's not looking. A little Heathkit chassis there of some type. A lot of times you just walk by things that are just super rare and valuable. You would never even know it. So when you come to these things, you really have to have like a list of what you're looking for so you don't miss out. Okay, Terry. Oh, hold on, man. Hey, did you bring the wine, though? Yes! I had the wine last night. I bet you did. In the auction with <laughs> yeah. the D-Lab glass. Cool! But, all right, so Marsha had to take off to the little girl's room. Yeah. So and now I can buy some. Okay. She's not here. Okay. Will you take 40? 40 bucks for the speaker ride? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Look at there. All right, Terry. She'll never know. No, 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 no. she'll never. She'll I know. Just, just, oh, no, she'll never. Nobody here but you. Turn that around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Don't want to share what I'm buying. Nothing but, uh, but nothing but a chicken here. That's right, man. All right. I really appreciate that. All the things for that. So, Terry, I got you something. Really? How yeah. much did it cost me? A whole dollar. <laughs> oh, Marsha's being generous. All right. What you I get? got you your so favorite. It's a Boston cream donut. Oh, look at that jobber. All right. So I can actually eat it and you won't get on me? No, I think we can splurge one. Well, you got one too, didn't you? I do have one. Oh, I thought you got me two. I said, man, that's really nice for you to get me two donuts. You have to share. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. you You're welcome. And a napkin. All right. There you go. Good deal. All right. Okay, now this guy over here is running a ham radio. I want to catch that. Hey, man. Hey, See that guy behind you? He's a device here, but I don't know how to use it. Maybe you can help me out. Um, you know what I do with those? Put it on the ground. I'll show you. Yeah. You know what? I leave it in my unlocked car. Yeah. Nobody steals it. I can't get it stolen. That's true. Who wants a flipper, right? <laughs> All right, so we got a little ham radio station over here. Yeah, check it out. Does it work? He says, I don't know. I don't know. 20 bucks. <laughs> I put new batteries in it. Okay. A little Drake set up. So this is like the club station, right? Uh, right. Yeah. WA9RCI. Oh, and, um, okay. So every year we cool. bring different gear out, right? Okay. Exactly. Have you been Stands making calls? Arky Antique Radio Public Online. Okay. Well, I tried checking into the uh, 3885 net, but no luck. Oh. But, okay. you know, the antenna is kind of a compromise. Yeah, I got you, man. But it's cool. fun. Yeah. yeah, we're making noise. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Not very often. You're supposed to bring neighbors.
Look yeah. at that donut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty nutritionist too, isn't it? It's good stuff. Oh, that's nice, Mark. Hey, too many really nice. All right, this is the last aisle, but more equipment has showed up. So I'll go back, look at key items. Projection. I was cleaning it up. Like a record player down there. A guitar in there. Thank you. There's usually like a like really home cooked epic food. All right, I see a whole bunch of radios. We gotta check this out. Yeah, Marsha's moving in on some other stuff I didn't see. Look at that jobber. You put your stereo system in there, wouldn't that be cool? It's kind of funny how Marsha gets on me about all these radios, but every time I turn around, she's looking at them. Hmm. Hello. Hi. Just looking, what do you got going here? Well, I think it's the <coughs> speakers out of it. Mm -hmm. yep. There is missing the screw. Yep. It's a Z. But it, yeah, but mm -hmm. it's pretty. Okay. Look at there. Some oscilloscopes. Oh, see, they're so valuable. Yeah, they hide them because I guess. They're, they're very valuable. That's why I collect them, sweetie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, Let's go over here. Oh, geez. I am missing on the. Look at this. I know, I gotta catch it. Big old Phil Kill. Isn't it wild? I had to hit the CRT separate. Man. There's a guy at work. What the heck? He's looking for a shirt. That must be like the video interface cable. Super cool. Alright. Now here is the. Don't get any ideas. I already covered that. <laughs> Okay, you took me up on my suggestion. I sent you a note and said, come here. Yeah? I oh, did. yeah, 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 okay. All right, yeah, I'm here. I'm here, man. There you go. How you doing? <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> no, I've seen some of your videos. I figured you ought to videotape this or video record this one. Oh, yeah, this yeah, way. yeah. This is a good show. We're having a lot of fun. That sun's killer, though. It's yeah, just like... It's probably screws killing, up Yeah, it kills the video. Is this your stuff? Um, it's stuff that belongs to me and a friend, and this is mine as well. Okay. But we run the Junker auction, but it's not set up yet. It'll be there later. Oh, all right. Excellent. We'll cover it. Yeah. Cool, man. Good to meet you. I'll, I'll take a good look here at your stuff. Where would I put that? The rack? Right in the living room. Look at these, Mersh. Cylinders. So I think these were old, like, wire recording deals. Records, yeah. Well, they're not records. They were, it was a cylinder, I think, that you put, and it would spin it and play the music. Well, it says uh, Edison Cylinder Record. Okay, you're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> I was just reading it. Jeez. Jeez. All right. GE up there. <laughs> lots and lots of radios. Never any shortage for radios. One. How you doing? You want the tag? Crown. I've seen a couple of those. Thank you. Seems like that. I already saw one of those here, maybe at another meet. Look at the green dial on that clock. Wow. Got a whole rack of them here. It's like the bake light, it's in really good shape. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's an airline. Doesn't look like the stock lid. 
Hard to say. There's an Arvin right there. That lady that bought that red radio, she says she collects Arvins. So we'll have to let her know it's here. Bob bought a pair. Of what? Last night. Those? Yes. The Arvins, Arvins really? Yeah. yeah. He, he thought they were really cool. They were space, spacey. Oh, yeah. Here's another uh, tube checker, I guess. Yeah. Western. Some more test equipment there. Big old Philco. Pioneer stuff. I don't see a whole lot of stereo equipment at these meets, so that's kind of cool. Zenith. But the thing is, if she, if she wants something that's like uh, See, maybe the price a is not twenty two bucks, people. <laughs> so this is twenty two dollars and nineteen dollars, right? There you go. All right, all right, good deal. <laughs> Hey, you too, man. Hey, how you doing, man? Doing fine. Good to good meet to, you. Good to see you again. Good. You too. <laughs> what we got there? All right. I'll go to the other side and take a peek. Ah, this is one of those remanufactured things. That's too bad. That's a beauty there. Who, who makes that? Crossley, I think. Oh, Crossley? Yeah. It's gorgeous. I love the green. Mm -hmm. Is that original? I yeah. believe so. Oh, okay. Know, it's, uh, yeah. That's what attracted me, the green. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, this must be the donation pile starting, I'm guessing. Looks like there's maybe a tent over there or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it looks like the Jeep radio. Yeah. <laughs> All right, CRT recycling, okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely the donation area. So you can donate radios here, right? And then you can go into this pit stop and you can do other donations, if you know what I mean. Got a little area here where you can wash up. Right. Okay. How you doing, man? How are you, sir? Good. How about a Brand new, slightly used Philco here. Brand new? Model 87. You know, I'd buy it if those knobs are on it, but without the knobs, what do I do? That's where you need to be. <laughs> Knob porter. <laughs> Me. Yeah. You got, if you pan the camera over yonder, yeah. you got Mr. Gobs and Knobs. He probably has. Oh, that's right. Knobs. That's right. right. There. Gobs of Knobs. I like the that. price of the radio, but still. Sure. You have a complete radio. Okay. And how much is that selling for? I have no idea. Oh. Right offhand. Um, Folks would like to re hi there. Oh. If you folks would like, <laughs> just being a ham for the camera. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, working here. When, oh. when the guys that normally do this, they're going to take a little thing I, out, a little I trip you. out. You know, the yeah. camera rolling. Of course. Yeah. You look beautiful. I'm glad you shaved this morning. Oh. Yeah, you look good, man. <laughs> tune in later when we fill up here. We will. Corner. I'll be back. You yep. will not even see one space on the ground. Good. You see it here. Excellent. And, uh, come talk to me. I'll be your uh, your seller a little uh, later on here. All right. I don't have a business card, but uh, that's generally why. If you don't know who I am, take a look in the post office, and my picture should be up in the wall. Or really? or on milk cartons. On the milk. Gotcha on that one. Go. All right, man. See you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see that. I <laughs> <laughs> right, got a pile over there. So yeah, this is all the donation stuff. All right, already got people checking it out, scoping what they're gonna buy when the donation auction starts. Man, there is a lot of stuff here. And I've only bought a speaker. But I just don't really have the room to haul back a bunch of boat anchors. I'd love to. But I can't. Good wow. stuff. That's difficult and the easiest to say. Yeah, so now we're trying to get the other house cleaned out. She wants to keep everything. 
another tube checker. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's see if I can capture all these radios behind these guys. This looks like those drive-in uh, menu things, right? Go in there. Or, oh no, these are the little jukebox things. It'd be a, um, like a table in a restaurant, right? Like an ice cream shop, right? Because it was right by the Let's take a peek. Yeah, it can, you know, you got to be careful. Yeah, right. Because I had to take mine if they had a I mean, we get them in there, they got 250,000 miles on it. Take it up for a drive. It still runs like 60,000 miles. Yeah. I love these. Uh, Alien space helmet radios, whatever you call them. They're cool. Look at this baby. I don't think that's really a radio. Maybe it is. Wow. This guy's got it going on. The crown jewels are to my left. Wait till you see these. There's an Arvin. So you, did you get the Four hundred bucks for that guy. I love that white cabinet. Very cool. You sure put a lot of time into making these radios attractive. It would be something I'd like to collect, but it's just more stuff. I got a lot of stuff. Port a phone. That's good. I like the ship goes in the port. I get it. Coca Cola sign. I know somebody that collects Coke stuff. That's 125 bucks. Okay, coming up to the Holy Grail here. Look at this phone. Pretty cool. My dad had a watch. I can't remember who it was made by, but it was clear and you could see all the workings in it. It had like a tuning fork in it. Okay, coming up on the good ones. It's Philco. That guy's missing a speaker. There's a Crosley, but look at this Crosley. Oh my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? Man. So it just goes on and on, radio after radio. Yeah, another gorgeous so piece right there. See on the back side. How are you doing? That? Did you do the cabinet on that? Or was that I did a great deal of cleaning. Um, this is the original finish. It was just filthy. Wow. And somebody had tried to refinish this top section and didn't do a very good job. I was able to make that a little less rough. Unfortunately. Yes, beautiful, man. Thank you. How's it going, man? All good. Glass envelopes. Oh, yeah, I don't have one. Yeah, it's in glass. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a. Makes you want to collect this stuff, doesn't it? Something like that. Prices are a little bit higher at the swap meet. Yeah, right. But you got to remember, you know, this stuff's yeah, getting really hard to find. 35 years in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah, you've been here for uh, uh, five. I mean, uh, so that's how so much dust collection, 35 yeah. years. Yeah. Is the dust extra cost? Well, we just raised the prices. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a little dull. Man. That just, is that a, yeah, well, whatever. We're going to charge extra for that. Just did <laughs> Yeah, that looks decent. I recognize hey. you. Hey, how you watch, doing, man? Watch your videos all Yo, the time. Nice cool. To meet yeah. you. I'm Terry. Good yeah. to meet you, man. Your name? I'm Greg. Greg. All right, man. Are you buying or just? Just buying. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you know who Ron Ramirez is, don't you? The Philco guy. Mm. The Philco.com website. Oh, I wrote the book on Philco. He's here. Really? See, he'd be a good one to put on your video. All right, I'll check it out, man. I appreciate find, it. If I find yeah. him, I'll bring him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> cool. All right. all right. Thank you. Sure. That's why I have about five. It's another one of those crazy TVs. They're D Lab. Philco. Oh, yeah, man. Out here causing trouble. How you doing? Yeah, you're causing trouble. <laughs> How come he wasn't out here early? Well, I was here at 7. Isn't that the right time? Okay, maybe for yeah. D Labs it is. I really got to hold this camera up to get you framed in. What are you, about 7 feet tall or what? No, I'm not 7. <laughs> Actually, probably starting to shrink. Are you? <laughs> How's sales? Doing all right? Oh, pretty good. I think John here is probably doing pretty good. I'm over there. Oh, okay. All right. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just finishing this up and then I'm going to go and catch the things that I missed. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Hmm. Howard. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I believe this is like a cast material that they used on the radio. Wow, it's beautiful. So this is the one that has that projection dial. It looks like it's out of place, but. Should be a simple thing to fix. A couple up here. Another one of those beautiful bake light logos. See the patterns in it. Very cool stuff. Even got a metal detector. So the whites. Sure is. Look at that. What do we got going here? Our ORN Greeby. Wow. So that's one of those regenerative type sets, that's right? A, yeah. yeah, amp or amp, RF amp. Pre selector. <laughs> Well, Any idea how old that is? Oh, no, no, okay. 1921, 22. Yeah. There. yeah. Cool. It's complete, it appears. What's the hole there? People for two, so you can see the foam. Ah, okay. <laughs> Is that true or are you making that up? No, that's oh, true. Okay. <laughs> you can see the peepholes in these radios and you right. can look at them and, you know, yeah. you know film, film it when the tube and stuff must okay. be good because it's glowing. Sure. All right. <laughs> cool. Uh oh, better have Hold the bosses here. Hi, sweetie. I was just Hi. getting ready to buy that. No, you weren't. You interrupted sure you were. me. No, you weren't. We had it sold. You did. Oh, well. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you well. Take another walk and go. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. It's my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ask how much it was? No, why don't you go find out? Okay, I'll go find out. It'd be my birthday gift. Okay. Uh, yeah, great. How you doing? Look at this chopper. Man, bum, 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 bum. man, that has got a heavy base. You wouldn't have to worry about that dancing around on the bench. Check out those tubes. Isn't that wild? All right, got a guitar amp and a guitar. Never heard of it. Okay. And a banjo. Hey. Excellent. Good morning. Got a Spartan over here. Yeah. Beautiful. I really feel like I should buy a radio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Electrolab. I think that is actually a guitar amp. Is it? Is it? 
Yep, not quite complete. Project, right? Guitar down there. Another bake lighter. That job was gorgeous. Wow, it's kind of like the Empire State Building type look, right? Another one of these grandfather clock radios. This one's got a vent in the top. Strange. All right, what else we got? The guy over here. Oh, look at all the goodies. You know, if you're trying to keep track of things, look at all the places you can put posty notes and other things. That's uh, that's pretty wild, yeah. Okay. All right. What we got going over here. He's got a generator set up. How you doing? Good. You know, Dream Weaver playing? Is that coming out of the record player? Yeah. Yeah. Was it like a close and play or what? What do we got going here? Is it actually spinning in there? Yeah, it's spinning. Let's check it out. Little Gary Wright Dream Weaver. Look at there, it's got the auto changer. Very cool. All right, man. Thank you. Some goodies down here. DC parts. Power edge. Another Arvin. Been a few of those around here. I've seen about two or three of them. Yeah. Look at that big old monster Scott. This guy's got some good stuff. 20 bucks for three radios that come with the satellites. You got all three of those? I, I see more than three, man. Those are satellite speakers. Yeah. There's oh, the speakers two satellite with. speakers and three radios. Excellent. For 20 bucks? Yeah. Excellent. I have uh, one of these radios that's near Mint uh -huh. that has the wrong balance knob on it. Uh -huh. And someone changed out the original uh, speaker cable. I'm going to put the uh, good original speaker cable from one of these onto my speaker. Cool. Take the balance knob and make one really perfect radio and then sell the rest. That's what it's about, man. Yep. Darn right. Good deal. Yeah. Got an Edison. Those are, uh, I, I call them lathes, right? You put your record down there and it just shaves off plastic for you. Yeah. All right. That is the end of this side. I'm gonna go down. So it's a beautiful day. Not uh, too high of humidity. Full sunshine. You couldn't ask for better weather for a swap meet. Some Bose speakers there. Pioneer receiver. Which one is it? SX580. A couple Kenwood 120s. Looks like they've probably seen better days. HR10 receiver. A couple Yezus underneath of it. Look at this jobber. Who makes this? Telefunken. With the speakers. Pretty neat. It's got this lid, I guess. A slide cover for the front. Goodies down there. Pioneer turntable. And get some more stuff over here. Never seen anything like it, I'll bet. Uh, there's a lot of it. Motorola. I got 20 bucks. Marantz. I got 25. This must have been for the memory backup. Pioneer Elite. You guys are really after these, I hear, because they have kind of a weighted platform. Supposed to be a pretty high quality unit. Look at there! It's another Yamaha CR620. I just sent one of those out to my daughter in Colorado. Hers is in a little bit better condition. Alright, what else we got here? We got some signs here. I'll check this out. I can do better on the price. I do my best. I don't know if these are reproductions. They look like they are. But it looked cool in the shop. I love that Stuart Warner like sign. That's very cool. Fifty dollars. Okay. See, yeah. it appears to be a medieval piece. Check that out here for Andrew. He's kind of into that stuff. I'm at the point where stuff's gonna have to be outside. Kenwood Mike. 
I used to have these uh, troubleshooter manuals, but got rid of them because it's all online now, right? Paperless society, right? General Motors radio. It's like a tube checker. Speakers. Kenwood speaker. It's a good deal for 60 bucks. Ah, there he is. What is he? Is it a radio? It is a radio. The Knight Helmet Radio. Zenith. $160. Let's check around back. All there, food and speaker. Because oh, we're good trying to. You too. I, I should. Okay, you How can. How you doing, Ken? Hey. Ken, nice to meet you, Terry. You too, man. Uh, How you doing? Good, good. I have a question for you. I have a radio that I. Uh, I saw your video on the NC270 National that oh, you yeah. repaired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I've got one Make just sure like it. Friend. Okay, uh, yeah, well, what's going on with yours? Uh, I just haven't plugged it in in 30 years. I'd really like to have it gone over before I oh, sure. give it a plug it in. Is this, okay. is this something I could send to you to yeah. have? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, heck yeah, where, where are you uh, located? Uh, Eagle River, Wisconsin, <laughs> oh, way up north. Okay. But I'll just, I'll create it up and get it, and I'll ship it down to you. Good, good, man. Uh, do you need any uh, pay, down payment on it to get started? Dude, you got like 500 bucks on you? Uh, 450 do <laughs> <laughs> I love your videos. Uh, you this is this is Marsha's first Marcia. hug. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ken. My wife will enjoy that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the dial. I know. It's really pretty. Yeah. Morning, sir. Zenith Good morning. morning. How you doing? B and K oh, school. Okay. How are you? Fine, how are you? <laughs> nice to see a smiling Snoopy face. And really? You mean nobody else is smiling? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Can you tell I have little kids? It's a beautiful yeah. day. Yeah. smile? Actually, I'm a Snoopy fan of the family. Yeah, yeah well, that's a great deal on that scope, man. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Volume through yeah. stuff. I'm finding yeah. bargains galore. Are you right. now? Yes, I am. This is great this for me. This one needs to go bye-bye. Yeah, that one's no. <laughs> well, what's wrong with this? Got a really nice we white have, tinge. Next yeah. Yeah, it's lost its vacuum. Uh, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. That's eh, well, not really important anyway. You know, maybe you can just, you know, get what? the air out. Of it. I'm not gonna say it. You can just get the <laughs> get no, the you, air. No, you put the air back in it. Your hot air would fill it just fine. My yeah, air. I was nice to you. You're not being <laughs> nice to me. <laughs> All right, so you say you're finding some bargains. Yeah, I found three 5U4s for a dollar cool. a piece. Really? That's yeah. a deal? That's, That's a, deal, a deal, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's going to be buying that one. Uh, I would agree. Do you want me to find a garbage can for oh, that? Yeah, sure. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I got to go down here and see the tube guy. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Promised him. Well, have fun Looks like we got a couple of receivers. Maybe a gigantic. Oh, it's a Techniques. Hope maybe that was a pioneer. Yeah. Uh, Harmon Carden Jabber. I'm not a big fan of the ones that have the record players on top, but whatever. Gerard, 620. A little Scott receiver. Got the techniques. So here's the tube guy. I promised him we'd do a little interview and throw out his uh, website information, but he's at every one of these meets. What's going on, man? Hey, you got Matt, right? Where are you from, Matt? From Chicago. Oh, okay, so this wasn't too bad of a trip for you, huh? Uh, except last night in the traffic. Yeah. Yeah. It was horrendous, man. I, I came from Battle Creek and I thought, well, I'll just get on the toll road, right? Because you pay. There's not going to be traffic. Well, dude, what do we got there? Since I've been here, I've had all these helicopters circling. I, I think they're looking for me. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> they probably heard about the amps you got in the back of the yeah. back of the lab. And yeah, man. Interested in getting What, what you are you buying? Have, you shouldn't have a target painted on. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. What, what are you guys buying? Anything good? Mostly parts for yeah. restoring radios for me, okay. anyway. Yeah. Right. Same, cool. Same, Same deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like to restore them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Good. Well, all congratulations right. on your channel. You yeah. do a great job. Been right. watching for a while. Appreciate it, man. Good meeting you. Okay. Okay. Take care. Okay. See a big old amp over here. A couple of those. Yeah.
Well, oh, I think it's a power supply, like an Astron. All right, a couple tube checkers. That's VFO right there. Okay. Another B and K seven four seven. Ooh, looks like it's in kit form, huh? Those are from Yeah, yeah, So we got Bob, and you're the tube guy. I see you at like every. Swap yeah, we do uh, mostly uh, swap meets in the Midwest. Uh, we go to Orlando Hamfest, uh, Dayton. Uh, buy and sell tubes. Uh, I've been doing this for several years. Okay. The website hamtubes.com. It's beer money, it's fun. Yeah, uh, so is it a hobby or like the full time? It started out as a hobby, I'm an amateur, and uh, I started doing this 25, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> retire on this probably. Got a full time job right now, but uh, you know, it's good to get out on the weekends. Sure. Weekend warrior thing. Yeah, yeah, good weather today, man. Yeah, we have yeah, so 80 something degrees today, and it's uh, low humidity. Yeah, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. too far for a weekend. Well, maybe you can hand us the keys and then we can go and Oh, sure. That'd be super. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, hey, Matt, did Marsha tell you that she actually takes the tips and donations for D-Lab? Ah, no, yeah, I haven't she heard does. that yet. So, um, you know, if you have any money, you could give to Marsha. Well, oh, I have a tip. Okay. I do. Okay. I do. I, I want to hear it. The next time you're in Baldwin, okay. you have to have ice cream at Jones' ice cream. Jones' ice cream in Baldwin. Yes. Okay. Jones' ice cream in Baldwin. Yes. All right. And if you really want to thrill, you need to go up during the annual trout o rama <laughs> Yum. I love trout. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Great tip. Thank you. Underneath us, the guy, he was on his phone getting an okay from the board members to spend that much money, but he said that I don't really make our budget stand up. RCA there, Ico Signal Generator, another reel to reel. So here's a B&K Model 1460 scope. I had one of those when I was in the Air Force. Great scope. Okay, so Helicrafter S40A with the manual, 25 bucks. That is a deal. She's a little dusty, dirty inside, but it's complete. Kind of got a soft spot for these S40s. And what we got down here, Webster, three of a real player of some type. Or maybe that's one of those wire recorders. Yeah, that's a wire recorder. WFMT? Right off the Willis Tower. Alias. Alias, yeah. And it has British announcers now, so I think we're going a couple to tuners here. To the Union Jack. I don't going know. to the Empire? Yeah, sure that would. exists no more. Those are pretty desirable. So what did you buy any? It's got, got some cool Probably stuff. Born, I like looking sometimes. Something. Life's an oyster at this stage. Yeah, it is. Probably my nicest thing is that Sherwood tube tuner. Admiral 1957 nylon black case. That's the one on top here? Yeah. Yes. I was very tempted to paint that grill. Mm. And I said, well, Good thing you didn't. Yeah. It won't be legal. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be right. Huh? Yeah. Wouldn't be right. You could use shoe polish to doctor it up, right? Yeah. So let's catch an aerial view of the event. So, so I buy these are Bakelite radios. Mm -hmm. I buy them, and usually they're going to be very distressed. 
you know, like this yep. is, is broken. Yep. So I don't want, it's kind of sacrilegious to take good radio and, sure. and, and modify it. This got, you know, a couple cracks in it. So as a collector, they're not interested in, in buying a radio like this. Yep. What I look for is, I'm not interested in square radios, it's all rounded. Mm -hmm. And then I take them apart and fix the insides and get them to work and then, and then I apply this finish. Yeah. How do you get the swirling type effect? I mean, you obviously just can't paint that, so you're, right. you're doing something magical to make that happen, Exactly. Right? Yeah. And if I told you, I'd kill you. So, <laughs> you know, I'll aside. It's just, okay. It took me yeah. a long time to do it. And yeah. It was... It's, and I do it in a lot of different colors, and sometimes it depends on the dial. Yeah. And then I decide what color to do. Okay. And sometimes I get carried away, and then I paint, and I'll paint it the wrong color, and I'll look at the dial and go, okay, we start over. Yeah. But, but I started off, I actually restored antique toys for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I, I started working with someone who loved big light radios. Yeah. And I just, you know, the, the first 500 radios were easy to find. And then, <laughs> but then I, but I do these radios, and then I, I purchase, I, I buy Catlin radios. I collect them, yep. so this helps fund the Catlin radio thing. Okay. So, excellent. It's so, beautiful, man. You do great work. I spend a lot of time, and um, I mean, this is I'm, I'm in the auto industry, uh -huh. in the collision division of it, and then when we have a little bit of downtime, okay. this is what I do at work. Cool. Excellent. So, man, it's great they let you do that. I appreciate you well, sharing that with me. Yeah, sometimes they know I'm doing it, sometimes I shouldn't be doing it. Right. <laughs> right, so this uh, kit form, uh, we believe it's an Atwater Kent. It's been marked down to 50, and they will still take an offer. Here is the chassis, and I'm assuming maybe in that box would be other components, not sure. Let's take a look around the back. So if you wanted a project, the cabinet really needs nothing. Maybe a little bit of polishing up. Cabinet looks great. You just have to get the radio in, get that working, you'd have a classic piece. As you can see, it's filled up, and it's yeah. it's on this side and it's on this side. Your arm looked great going across the video. I'm sure good. everybody would love that. Yeah, good job, Marsha. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so the uh, donation area is filling up. Got a bunch of radios here. Ghetto Blaster. Oh man, the little blinky uh, Morse code lights are in here. Oh. I may have to just bid on that. And look, Marsh, somebody donated a porta potty. Isn't that great? Yeah, it smells lovely. Too. Does it? Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to go in there to smell. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not in it and I can smell it. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. All right. So, hey, look here, that uh, hi fi unit made it here too. Wow. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, so we're filling up. Another scope. Table over here is full of stuff. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's going to be a good donation auction. Yes, sir. Got us a tube caddy there, how much? See any good ones in there? Probably a bunch of TV tubes. Great. A few. Yep. So this is going to start at 3.30 ish, I believe. We'll be out here to catch it. All right, so if you're into 8-tracks, look at there. We've got Panasonic units there. What's this one here? Who makes it? Oh, Electrophonic. Never heard of it. Back in the day, though, I had one of them things. You know what I hated about 8-tracks, though? Is in the middle of your favorite song, they would fade and go to the next track. So it kind of sucked. But anyway, you know, that's technology. From there, we went to cassettes and then LPs and... Now CDs, and I hear those are fading out too. So it's Terry at D-Lab, and I met up with B. Anderson. He has a YouTube channel, and you've been out for how long? Oh, on, on YouTube? Oh, 10 years, 11, right. 12 years now? All right. Yeah, about the same time frame. So he started out, what, your first videos, you said you didn't really know what you wanted to do and you kind of worked up to what No, you so I've been on the forums and I did some photos, but I thought since I'm working on TVs, people want to see moving pictures, so, yeah. and I figured it's a weird niche hobby, I yep. kind of wanted to get it out there, so I made some YouTube videos, but yep. I didn't, my first few videos are still up, I didn't talk. Yeah, oh, okay. I couldn't stand the sound of my own voice, I hated editing them, but eventually yeah. it got 
And, and, and a lot of your stuff is like TV, like vintage TV repairs? And, yes, and radio, and now a little home home repair since I bought a house. Ah, okay. <laughs> Which is what slowed down my videos a lot. All right. How many subscribers you at? 7,000. Okay. All right. She's moving up there. Yeah, we just hit, we just went a little over 30,000, I think. But I did the same thing. I, I My first couple videos, I was just playing around. So I, I actually took a cookie monster and the skeleton went to a cemetery and hit chase scenes. Nice. So yeah, I'm running <laughs> through the cemetery, man. I about killed myself shooting these stupid things. But I couldn't get any lookers. And I thought, well, what do I do? You know. And then I thought, wait, I'm already doing it. I'm repairing this stuff. So I just put the camera in the shop and I started the little how-to videos and boom. Mm -hmm. Here we are, man. Great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I try to interject a little fun on them in my videos. Yeah, too. but I think you need to be in your videos, man. You, you, you know, I mean, we'll you're see. not a bad looking <laughs> guy, right? You got a good sense of humor. Yeah. So yeah. where can people find your channel? Uh, Banderson TV. B-A-N-D-E-R-S-E-N TV on YouTube. All right. Radio stuff. Yeah, yeah. So how, how's sales been, well, ma'am? Well, pretty good. You can go to Germany without leaving Chicago land. <laughs> Germany's from Austria, New, uh, Germany and Austria. Yep. And um, of course, a couple of American radios and tuners, and yep. some so, spares for repairs. And but they mostly need uh, replacement electrolytic capacitors. Uh, Oh, All right, so I got a couple more people just found me. All right, so who do we got? Uh, my name is Dick Haskins. This is Isabel Haskins. Hey, how you doing? Berwin. I emailed you a couple times. Oh, did I answer? Yeah, you did, unfortunately. <laughs> Sometimes. I got to get rid of this guy. Yeah, so, no, I, you know, I just got so much going on with like, the day job. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. I try, man. I try oh, no, I, it's, it's fabulous what you do. It's just, uh, you know, it's like... You know, old school guy out there showing people how to do it without like you know wanting something well you know a lot of people yeah i got you framed you know a lot of people ask me why am i showing everybody so you know a lot of people said terry why do you put a, that information out there right why aren't you like hoarding it so you can like make money in your shop it's because you know when all of us old timers start passing away. Right. That information is goes with it. Beautiful. Right? Yeah, I know, because I was working what? with the guy, you know, for uh, entertainment wise, who yeah. uh, we just worked on Hammonds and stuff, and he was showing me stuff that was just know. not yeah. going to be around anymore. Right. Yeah. So why not share it, you know, so it can continue? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. So I just got the inside scoop. This donation area, you don't have to wait for the donation auction. You can go in here and just buy stuff, right? If you wait for the donation auction, you can probably get it cheaper. But I want to get those little Morse code lights so Emmy and I can play with that. I hope they're here. Let's see. Question is, where were they? I know they're on the ground. Ah, oh, no, my luck, they're gone. Darn, where are they? There they are. I'm gonna grab them. Be in the six meter J full box back the car. Wow, yeah, it's still there. Oh, uh, Emmy, this is all about you and me, buddy. Let's see what grandpa can get it for. All right, all right, so I'll, I'll put some pressure on this guy. Yeah, hey, we, we got to make a deal here. So you know about my granddaughter, Emmy, right? Shortwave girl? Shortwave she, girl, Emmy. Yes. Of course I know. She would... 1962. No. Yeah, she would flip out getting this toy. So what can I get this for? How about two bucks? That'd be super. She is going to lose it, man. Appreciate if it. We fix, if huh? we fix the box, box here, I'll have to charge you five. <laughs> Man, is that cool. What tarnation Man. is that thing? Those are like in the Navy, you know, Morse oh, code, the shutters. Yeah. This, this is how my dad used to yeah. do it. Um, so, man, what a great thing yeah. to teach her. Navy Navy people always knew it. There's two ways to know code. Yeah. One is by, uh, that is by some. That, that's strictly good. Yeah. yeah. Very cool, man. Thank date, you very much. I'm going to date myself. I remember this. This is Hasbro. Yeah. Yeah, well, that little Hasbro guy that's on there. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that's a wrap on the swap meet. You can see behind me that everybody's clearing out. It's about uh, one o'clock here in Illinois. So next we have the banquet tonight, and then I guess there's some entertainment after that. So we'll see you then.